Good morning! How are you today, my little explorers? I hope you're doing well. It's science class and today we have a new lesson. Today we will be talking about floods. Floods. So before starting our lesson, let's read the day and date. So today is Tuesday and the date is June 9, 2020. So my little explorers, are you ready to learn a new thing today? Yes, I know that you are ready. So let's start the lesson of today by reading the objectives. So by the end of this lesson, you will be able to identify new vocabulary like floods and also you can recognize the effects of floods. Let's go back here. So, I want you to look at the picture and to tell me what do you see. Excellent! You can see a man who's sitting on the roof of his house asking for help. Why do you think is he asking for help? Because as you can see, the water is all around his house. So how does this happen and what do we call this? This is what we are going to learn for today. So here we go everyone. I want you to copy and paste the link below to your browser and watch the video about the floods. Okay? And when you come back, we will continue the lesson. Okay, so what I want you to do now everyone is to bring your science book because we are going to use it and open it on page 38, write the day and date. So if you look at the picture over here, you can see that the water is covering the land, right? And look at the houses over here. So what do you see everyone? What else do you see? And as you see everyone, the buildings or the houses, let's say, are filled with water. So I think it's very dangerous, right? So let's read what's written over here. Floods. Another event that causes quick changes is a flood. A flood can happen when a lot of rain falls quickly. The rain cannot soak into the ground. Water from a flood can wear away rocks and soil. Floods make it hard for plants and animals to live. So everyone, I want you to underline here. A flood can happen when a lot of rain falls quickly. So, this is very important. Underline it. So, a flood can happen when a lot of rain falls quickly. And this is very dangerous for people, plants and animals. So, as you can see here, look at the picture. The water is covering the land and also filling the houses with the water. So can you live in a such house? No, because it's dangerous, right? And now everyone, I want you to move to page 38 and let's read the question together. What effect might a flood have on a farm? So when I say farm, I am talking about a green area of land. Okay, so what effect might a flood have on a farm? As I said to you, the, the flood is very dangerous, okay, and it happens when the rain falls quickly from the sky. So the answer is a flood would make it hard for plants to grow. So the flood can or may destroy the plants and the plants when the when, let me say when the land is covered with the water the plants will not grow 
and I want you everyone to look at this picture write a caption for the photo below so what can you write about this photo look at the photo so try to write something stop the video for a while write something everyone so a flood happens quickly and can cause damage to homes so everyone a flood happens when water covers land that is usually dry a flash flood is a term we use to describe a flood that happens very quickly in low-lying land it's usually caused by very heavy rains if you will ever be in a flood search for safety and run to a high ground so look at these pictures everyone as you can see the heavy rain will cause a flood and as you can see here the water is covering the land and people should go to a high place or high ground let me say when the flood starts let's go to task number one complete the following mini map by putting some words in each box okay so here flood the definition water covers land that is usually dry the dangers water can carry rocks and soil and destroy land or animals safety search for safety and run to a high ground task number two complete the definition of flood so a flood is one of the quick or slow you choose changes to earth's landscapes it can happen when a lot of falls quickly so I want you to answer this by yourself finally what do you know about floods and what have you learned today about floods so write your answers on a piece of paper have a great day bye everyone see you tomorrow